how's, how's today gone and how's the cycle going in general? Yeah, it's going very well. We started obviously on February the 12th back in Rome and uh, it's been an epic journey. We've had everything from snow, wind, rain, uh, accidents, chaos. Um, we've stopped off in every Six Nations venue. Uh, we were at Twickenham last Friday and this is the start of leg four this morning. We set off from Twickenham um, nursing slightly sore heads with a hangover after the England Ireland game. Uh, that was our only rest day in a month of cycling. And uh, this has been our shortest day cycling to Cherville, um, so only about 50 kilometres. Tomorrow we set off from here, from uh, Cherville down to Old Sodbury, so about 130k. So a uh, bit of a reality check for the cyclists tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully the weather will be on our side. Um, if you want to follow the progress, people can do so on the website, which is delaliocycleslam.com. Um, they can make donations there to Sport Relief and the Foundation. Obviously, we're aiming to raise a million pounds for, uh, for Sport Relief and uh, it's going well so far. I've got some uh, friends that have joined me along the way this morning. We've had uh, Jason Leonard. You are very aware that he only chose the 50 kilometre ride. Turned up in his rugby shorts. Um, I've got Josh Lucy, the World Cup winner from uh, my fellow Wasson and England colleague. Um, uh, Andrew Flintoff, the um, legendary cricket player who's joining me for the next five days, which is great. Um, of Dermot Moynihan, who's a Sky News reader, and uh, Charlie Stace, who reads the BBC uh, Breakfast News as well. So, a few, um, few celebrities to join us along the way, along with um, 40 or so very uh, strong fundraising cyclists. And how are you feeling, like, conditionally wise? Still okay? Yeah, no, I'm feeling okay. I've lost a bit of weight, it has to be said. Um, I'm uh, a shadow of my former self, but uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, I've been cycling now for over two weeks, um, and so far, so good. And, you know, it's been tough there's been some days where you know you, you have to really push on and mentally very you know very tough challenging but uh, I think when you re realize what you're raising money for I think it puts it all in perspective of course and obviously you've had many successful challenges on the rugby pitch how's this compare now on the saddle you know you're doing it for a month or so isn't it well as you can see I'm, uh, I'm built perfectly for cycling I'm about 115 kilos um, and uh, yeah a lot of weight going through the handlebars and the seat so uh, you know, it, it does make it challenging, it does make it tough, but it, it's about the team, it's about pulling together, it's about raising money for those incredibly worthwhile charities. So, uh, so far, so good. And how's, how's support been so far on the ride? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, clearly up to now we've been, we've been abroad. We started in Italy, um, we, we went through France, which was amazing. You know, we had Rafael Ibanez, had Diego Dominguez, the, the famous French and Italian rugby players. Um, and the support's been building and building. On Friday night, we arrived at Twickenham, we met Prince Harry, um, you know, I was uh, all the. I did a lap of the pitch yesterday at the Twickenham for the England Ireland game. You know, we're getting people to text because you can text a five pound donation to seven zero 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 five by texting the word slam, um, and that's been great. So we got the crowd on our side yesterday, um, and I think the momentum will gather. And um, we got one or two other surprises along the route, and uh, really looking forward to it.